I think I'm ready to give this thing another go. Check it out, folks. New tractor tires. They arrived last week. I've been so busy with work, but I managed to drop off the old tires and have this done. And then I picked it up one day after work, put it on, and I have been testing them out a little bit. I wanted to make sure, you guys, I really, really wanted to make sure. So now that I have the new front tractor tires, which they're pretty caked up with mud right now, or soil right now, uh, the rear tires, as you can see, have plenty of traction. So thank you, Carla, for the new rear tractor tires and I've already thanked Paige for the front tractor tires because they needed to be replaced first they my old front tires were both uh, destroyed so awesome here's what I've done so far this is just testing it out I cut down all the tall vegetation with the mowing bush hog attachment and then I used the blade attachment and scraped uh, around and just kind of scraped up as best I could all the uh, grass and weeds and stuff here is the no-no spot you guys might remember when I got stuck before I am definitely gonna play it safe over here and really try not to get in the same predicament here's where I am now after testing I put the harrow on and I did a test run and I decided I would use the option to make uh, the disc on the disc harrow a little more aggressive you see these settings here you can see what setting it was on this was here uh, I changed it so now these discs are opposing each other to make it the most aggressive that I possibly can and now I'm going to go multiple directions in the garden to make sure that I can tear this ground up as best I can Fortunately for me, the ground is very fertile, very lush, very soft. I don't think it's going to take much more than just disking it until it's to the consistency that we like. Hey Ryan. That's what I'm going to do. What? You want to show everybody the reason why you got to get this done? Yeah. All my beautiful plants definitely waiting to go in the ground. The ones inside the greenhouse I gotta keep watering because they don't get the rain. So they keep drying in on me. But they're doing really good in this greenhouse, way better than I thought they were going to. Like they've grown at least two inches since I put them in here. This tray's a little dried out. Um, we lost about half the trays on all of them from the major downpour off the barn roof. But then over here we've got still our cold weather stuff that needs to go out. Oh. Something dug in my artichoke. That's lovely. I wonder what that was. You think a squirrel or something? Oh my goodness. These just germinated. I just sowed all these seed. Those are all brand new babies. Oh, it looks like the water splashed in the map. So you can see on the labels. All flowers and herbs mostly. And then on the back side, there's some beautiful, beautiful celery. This tray is the red celery. This is the pink celery. And then we got some lemon basil from my friend Kaylee at the farm in Quail Hollow and some dill. So we're going to have a good garden once we get it planted. Awesome. Well, you saw all those plants. I think I better get to work. Bluetooth headset, a little music, protect my ears from the sound of the tractor, and some sunglasses. Check my eyes from the sun. I 
got myself stuck, as you probably saw, over there, close to the spot I got stuck last time, and that just tells me I just need to stay away from that area. I got myself unstuck just fine. The issue is the disc harrow is pretty large, and the tractor is small. It does work, but really, this disc harrow is probably better on a bigger tractor. I don't have four wheel drive, so I had to dig just a little bit around the harrow, not my new tires. Got myself unstuck. I'm about to change directions and harrow this way and just be very cautious. I have to constantly lift and lower the harrow so I don't get stuck again, but I think we're doing a pretty decent job uh, given that this is the equipment I have. One day I will probably want to upgrade to a bigger tractor with four wheel drive and a front end loader. As you see, I don't have that either. But it is what it is. I'm gonna make do with what I have. Here we go. This is probably the best that I'm going to be able to get it using the equipment that I have. But I think this is going to work, you guys. Look at that. Anywhere else in Georgia, you're going to find red Georgia clay. But not here. Not on this spot we have some very 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 rich soil i had to avoid this corner this is where i got stuck last time and this is where i got almost got stuck again that harrow it's reaching it does not lift up much higher that's as about as high as it goes it just just barely clears the ground that's why it was able to get sort of stuck almost stuck but i didn't didn't have to work too hard to get out of that just had to avoid the area soon soon my friends soon I'm thrilled to be able to share a successful story with the tractor now that I have a little help from our friends this bad boy is more capable than it used to be I'm gonna go in and check on everybody else thank you guys for watching you know the drill and we'll see you next time on wholesome roots